Very often, I heard the argument of travel to find yourself. I disagree. Let me tell you why. I guess people are getting lonelier and lost nowadays, like in conjunction with the rise of travel industries and how amazing the world out there, people started to fantasize the idea of get lost while travel and find itself. In this video, I want to tell you why you cannot find yourself while travel, what is the problem, and third, how you can fundamentally find yourself. Hi, welcome to Fearless Passport. This channel is all about global social issues, travel perspective, and also how to live a fundamentally happy life. If you like the topic of Chinese eating dogs, overpopulations, environmental sustainability, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell. Now before I start, I need to begin with a specific disclaimer so that you did not assume this was a pronouncement against traveling. Like I love traveling, never once in my content I try to discourage people from exploring the world. But somehow, the idea of travel to find yourself is way too cliche and way too romantic. Why is that you cannot find yourself through travel? I think the root cause of finding yourself are loneliness and the desire of a carefree life. All of us mask our natural personality to conform to social pressure, fear of what people would think of us in order to perceive as normal and acceptable within a group. We call this masking psychology. Of course, over the time, people will fall out of touch when we frequently bind to others' ideas and, exp and expectations like from friends, spouse, family and society. The virtue of travel is that it exposes you to different culture, it helps develop a thoughtful mindset and be globally aware. And on the other hand, travel is merely an opportunity for you to set foot on a foreign land when no one else personally knows who you are. And when there's no one there to judge you, you have the best chance to put down the mask you've been wearing for so long. Plus, traveling adds excitement into your sad life. So in contrary, it sort of brings up or highlights the carefree feeling and you finally will say that you find yourself. On the other hand, travel provides you opportunity to spend time, like quality time by yourself, where you can perform self-work, confront your insecurities, reflect and also actualize. However, I think those self-work can be done anywhere, like not necessarily set foot in a new place. Travel is not a one-stop solution to help understand who you are. No, it cannot resolve all of your fears and unhappiness. If you observe how people claim that they define themselves through sunset basking, jumping off a cliff, or drinking champagne beside a pool, for me, literally, they are actually having fun. I think we should stop telling people that you have to escape to realign your life, you know? And if traveling does fundamentally change you, it's because you utilize the opportunity, use this precious time to truly reflect and self-actualize. I think the hard part is when you inevitably have to come home. When you fall back into your original role, you need to apply what you have learned, make changes and transcend. If not, all of the getting lost and find yourself doesn't count. It's just being romantic on the surface, like, you know, wow, I can get out to see different places, have fun, and finally, you just find yourself. Being abroad didn't bring the clarity, hard personal work did. For example, you might heal from a relationship problem after you went on a trip. That's because you are away from the toxic environment that triggers all of the bad memories. Every day, you see different things that excites you. At the same time, you have the opportunity to do self-inquiry, like what have you done wrong and what you can improve and when should you come home. Should you spend your time abroad getting wasted, like, you know, trying to meet new dates? You might as well just stay home and sleep all day. Mm, let time heal you. So where you can find yourself, like how you can fundamentally find yourself. I think the key to find yourself is to be truly happy and have inner peace wherever you are. To fundamentally find yourself or simply put searching your soul, it means going through a process of self-inquiry, reflect and self-actualization. Like really spend time alone and think, have conversation with yourself. Why did such thing happen? Like, was it really my fault? And what can I do to fix this problem? No matter it is you feeling broken hearted, you break someone else's heart, fail at certain things in life, or did you really disappoint someone, or you didn't condemn to someone else's ambitions, or simply you are feeling lonely and sad. 
how you could face a fear of loneliness, all of which be done most effectively by having quality solitude by yourself. To have more conversations alone, like learn to disregard opinions of unimportant others. It is how you learn from being truthful to your insecurities and manage your problems, all of which can be done equally effective even if you are at home by having deep self inquiry, like mindfully add small values to your life, enjoy what you do most, and build up the foundations of your own life. A long flight or looking over a sunset wouldn't just heal your wound. Don't get fantasized with the term of get lost and you will find yourself. You know, I've been backpacking alone to 20 over countries. Although it is not a lot of traveling experience, I never claim myself as a well traveled person. But I often found the idea of traveling are way romantic and sugar coated. You know, travel is merely a sweet talk brought by the privileged, who are lucky enough to see more of the world. In fact, there is a lot of life improvement or personal growth can be done even when you didn't travel. You don't have to travel to find yourself. All you need to do is to spend more time alone and check what you focus your attention on. Like, are you always being negative or emo when every time there's a problem? And you have to keep learning. Every version of us now is a draft at the very present. And there will always be a better version of us if we self-examine our strength, push our limits, perfecting who we want to be. The key is to constantly self-reflect and actualize and transcend from time to time. I also did a video talking about how travel didn't really help you overcome fears and getting out of comfort zones. Though many might find these two videos like this video, travel to find yourself or travel to overcome fears and out of comfort zones, you might find these two videos offensive or hypocrites because it is against of the cliche message that has been conveyed out there. A lot of people have been telling how travel f changed their life, you know fundamentally change their life. I still want to convey that there's a whole lot of significant changes we can do to make our life even better in our boring, sad and routine life. I'll link the video up here, it's either here or here. It's my second video and wasn't very well composed but the message is there. Make sure you check this video out too then you understand where I'm coming from. So let me know your thoughts too. What makes you feel like you lost in the first place and whether you have found yourself through travel? What have you done and what have you realized in your journey? Did you transcend and make improvements when you are back home? I would want to know how travel changed or did not change you as a person. My next video is about bioplastics and its drawbacks. So if you are interested in global social issues, travel perspective and also environmental sustainability, be sure that you subscribe to my channel Fearless Passports and thank you for watching. Remember, be proud of yourself and be your own biggest fans. Bye!